Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna tell you about an assignment I did a couple of months ago which included both photography and video. I shot uh, race car drivers against a white background, portraits, and uh, we also recorded some short interviews which uh, was shot against a blue screen. Since the space was a bit limited, I had to sort of mix the two setups into each other. So this is a rough sketch of uh, what the setup looked like. And I will go into detail on both these setups in a moment. And we actually discussed if we were gonna do both stills and video with the same light setup, but I always prefer to shoot photos with flashes since the result is just so much better compared to LED lights. So for the photography part, I used three Godox 8200 flashes, two on the background to sort of blow the whites out and one on my camera right with the Light Dome 2 softbox. For this one, I also used an adapter specifically made for the 8200 uh, that has a Bowens mount. Um, and for stuff like this, portraits and uh, stuff like that, uh, the power of the 8200 is more than enough. I mean, you can easily shoot at ISO 100 and F8 with these flashes, uh, and that's pretty good for such a small flash. I used the Canon R5 with an EF 7200 F2.8 lens, the third version with IS, and of course an adapter for, uh, for this lens to fit on the RF mount of the R5. And here you can see some of the finished extracted photos, really nothing fancy at all, very simple. Uh, I use an external service online for free cutting or whatever you want to call it because it's so cheap to, uh, to do this and it would take too long to do it myself. And if we take a look at the blue screen setup, uh, I must first say that this was the very first time that I ever shot anything against the blue screen. So. I made some small mistakes here and there, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. The lights I used were one Aperture 300D Mark II and uh, two Aperture 120D Mark II for, uh, for the background. And this is one of the details I learned that maybe it would have been a better solution to not light the background at all because I lit, the even, I lit the background as evenly as I could, but when I tried to do some extracting of the background in Premiere, I noticed that uh, this is very, very, I mean, you have to be very, very picky on how you light the background because you don't want hot spots on a green screen or a blue screen, that's not good at all. But again, this was my first time and I think it worked out all right. I shot the videos with a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and a Panasonic 12-60 to f2.8-4 to lens. And as you can see, the background is not a full width studio background, it's like only half width. And this was also because of the lack of space, uh, a full width background would simply not fit in this area that we had to shoot in. Uh, and uh, another thing that would have been nice is also to have a, a, a longer distance between the model and the background to avoid spill. But this is what we had to work with, so we had to do the best of this situation. And let's also jump into Premiere, uh, where I'm going to show you just a quick test of extracting the blue screen. I might also add that this assignment did not include any sort of post-production from my part, so I just del delivered the progress files and the audio files to an editor who works for my client. But I wanted to try this anyway since I haven't done it before uh, and it's really not that complicated so let's take a look. So here we have a clip that we shot against the blue screen straight out of camera, no grading done whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is to search for the ultra key effect and just drag this onto my clip right here and then on the effect controls tab we can see that we have uh, a bunch of parameters to play around with a bunch of sliders but the first thing i'm going to do is to uh, use the eyedropper tool here for key color and then just click right there 
and then I like to switch to alpha channel. So here we can see that everything that is white is going to be visible and everything that's black is going to be hidden or extracted. Uh, and as you can see on the background here, it's not 100% evenly lit. So there are some adjustments that needs to be made. So what I do is I basically just uh, play around with the sliders and, and see what happens. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what slider is doing what. Um, just doing some adjustments here. Because what we want is to make the talent completely white and the background completely black. So just go through these adjustment sliders one by one. Let's see what happens. Starting to look pretty good, I think. Something like that, maybe. And then you can switch back to uh, composite to see, to check. And there we can see that we need some more adjusting on the cap there. So this is basically basically what I do. I just play around with the sliders until I'm happy with the results. Just gonna do this a bit quick and dirty right now for for the purpose of demonstration. Um, so I'm just gonna add a crop like that. Crop the left side a little bit to get rid of. Uh, of the background something like this maybe and then add just a little bit of color grade maybe some contrast some darker shadows something like that and just to try this out I'm gonna put uh, a clip of b-roll in the background just to see how it looks and I'm thinking that the way you're going to use a clip like this, that's shot against the blue screen, um, is to maybe have the person down in the corner. Something like that. Just put him down in the left corner right here and maybe add some kind of name sign or some graphics or something. So he'll be talking when there's a, like a race showing in the back background or something. So given that this was my first try ever uh, against blue screen or green screen, uh, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the results. I think this looks okay. That was all I had to share for this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, you are more than welcome to click those like and subscribe buttons and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.